Hi guys, it's Tracy in Australia and at long last it's time for a journal share. I have uh, been working on this since before Christmas, very slowly. Uh, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's a gorgeous, uh, shabby Christmas journal. The cover's actually repurposed from a hardback novel. I covered it with Tim Holtz uh, tissue paper, painted it white, and um, I've just sewed over the top of that as well. On the front here, I've done lots of collaging. The main focus are these flowers here. Uh, they've been repurposed largely from Opportunity Shops. Um, some of them are paper, some are fabric, and some are even plastic, these little ones down here. And what I do is um, use gesso to really lighten them up and help them blend in together. And I've also put a little bit of glitter on them. So, and just to finish off, I've got these garment pins with these pretty pearls on them as well. So there's all little bits of laces and um, little bits of fibre just to add lots of interest. Uh, hitch post and um, what do you call those things? An eyelet, which I've run the seam binding and lace through that I've uh, seam binding. It's sari silk, repurposed sari silk and um, some lace as the tie. It measures uh, seven and a half by five and a quarter. The spine's about um, an inch and three quarters and it's got two signatures of um, 13 folded pages each. Okay, so I've used craft text um, for a hidden spine, uh, put some lace there just to um, disguise where that meets the end paper. So I've used a couple of digital kits in this. These beautiful papers are from a shop on Etsy called Nostalgia Graphic Land and really love uh, the papers that um, this lady makes and I've also used some of her tags and uh, some other elements. The other papers that I've used are from My Porch Prints and I will leave details of those in the description box. So I have also included other sorts of papers. These are watercolour pages from a little um, art journal and everything has been tea dyed uh, and hand torn. I really like the look of that. So here I've done a bit of a mixed media layout. I'm trying to upskill in that direction. Uh, I've used a gorgeous graphic and then I've done some stenciling, a little bit of layering with various elements and um, included some words as well. So I'm hoping to do more of that sort of thing uh, in my journals this year. Included um, lots of little fibres as um, decorative elements and also some bits of paper as well, a rusted pin and some little tags there and then some little pieces of ephemera to go in there. All of the pages have been hand torn. I really like um, how they look. I know that you can get a ruler to um, do it but I like them all to look different. These are some other really cute papers that I've included. They're from a vintage stamp album and um, I love the color of those. I'm hoping here that you can see the foiling that I've included on most of the digital pages and some of the elements. So I just really uh, like the randomness of that and it just gives that little bit of bling to what is after all a Christmas journal. So this is one of my favorite little pages. I've printed it out twice and then curled that bit over, torn it here, um, included one of Tim Holtz's little people there. So it really gives the impression of, you know, layered um, letters and uh, I like how that looks. And it also opens on the side here as a pocket. Just a plain piece of um, paper there. Here I've just added a little pocket to this page with a couple of little pieces in there. And um, this says, tell me, tell me truly, when we are far apart, do you keep a place for me in the corner of your heart? And it's a really cute little kitten. And just up here, 
um, piece of a doily and some creepy cloth which I've stapled to the page, a little bit of washi. I just absolutely love using reproduction vintage photos. Um, you know, these are just so beautiful. The little girls are so beautiful and um, they're over a hundred years old and they just have a quality that is missing from modern photos, I think. And I've I left that one open at the side as a pocket and popped um, a copy of a receipt in there. Again, some collaging uh, around a vintage photo with various elements. There's a little bit of pattern paper there, some muslin and some little bits of lace. And that, the um, photo has been sewn to the vintage music paper. Here I've made a little pocket out of a piece of lace and then decorated that and used a pin and a little charm. That's off um, an old necklace. Added a little torn scrap up here of um, script from one of the pages. A little stamping, some more Tim Holtz people. And here I've um, used a piece of ephemera as a pocket. I've sewn that on and um, put a paper doily underneath it, gathered up some um, pattern paper there. And this says, tender memories, wake and say, forget me not on Christmas day. So that's really cute and that just pokes out of there. Again, some layering of some uh, torn pieces of paper and some stenciling with texture paste little pocket out of uh, lace and a little doily. Lots of space that you could add in more ephemera. This is a die cut and um, again, really beautiful um, Christmas and vintage image. So it has kind of a bit of a French theme with um, the, the script and everything. Another little Tim Holtz person. Because that just goes so well with all of the shabby. Love this card and um, that's got a little foiling on it too. I don't know whether you can see. Yeah, you can see that. <clears throat> and I've used a piece of um, the vintage stamp book paper up here as the pocket and put some lace in on that. Another piece of the... Um, the uh, watercolour paper, it has such beautiful texture, it always, almost seems hand, hand made, like handmade paper. This is one of my favourite images with these, um, the deer pulling the sleigh, I love their harnesses. Again, beautiful old piece of lace there, a couple of little cards. This girl has such a big bow. One day I'm going to do a big bow um, journal. I just love uh, photos of huge hats and bows. So really like to do that one day. I love this page. And I've added a bit of um, foil to that. Again, that's a side loading pocket. Here you can see I've done um, some more of that mixed media layering. Then there's a little scrappy piece of paper. Here's a little envelope. There's a little piece of paper in that that I've stamped with the word secret. And then the other day I got a letter and it had these little um, little shabby uh, stamps on there with beautiful roses so I've included those. I really like the way this little boy sits on the, the torn uh, pocket there. So I've gathered up a little piece of um, scrap paper there and this um, put the word wishing and there's a little bit of vintage lace a little bit of a dangle and some blingy embellishments with a paper flower. A 
again. Uh, love this image. And it says, um, Joyce Noel. And she's got this gorgeous pink dress on, beautiful big wings and carrying little baskets and toys. It's just so shabby and beautiful, I love it. So I just added some bits of lace and some pink braid. And again, the background paper with pink roses and then I've put some of that gold foil there as well. As I said, most of the um, printed pages have the gold foil. So belly band and then um, I've cut down one of the printed digital pages as a card. Bit of collaging onto some vintage music paper and I just really like the way this picks up that little, little piece of colour there in that uh, digital tag. This is a gorgeous page and then I've added the gold uh, foil and some sari silk with a button that I've sewn on there. And here, um, again, I've used um, one of the digital pages and torn that. So it's like a little memory scrap. Um, Tim Holtz girl and some little pieces of ephemera. Vintage music paper there. And um, I've put in an eyelet and um, a garment pin with a tag. And here I just collaged up some pieces to make a little um, side pocket. Love this stamp. little pocket made this little tag and it says with shining eyes this beautiful little picture of a little girl I've sewn around that and just included a couple of other little tags just stapled on a bit of a doily and a ticket Again, um, used a bit of a page as a pocket and popped in some pieces of ephemera. So that red picks up the red that's in there and the pink. And this is my last page. So I've made a large tag, used a stamp and just a little top loading pocket. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed uh, my little flip through. If you've got any questions, um, just leave them down below. I love to hear from people and hopefully I will be back soon with um, another journal project to share. Okay, thanks for watching guys.